Okay, here's our problem we're going to solve today. And I know that this looks like a lot of text, but we're about to break it down into some bite-sized pieces so we can understand what's going on here. So we are given the fact that we have two V-belt pulleys that are carried by the shaft drawn here. And if you are not familiar with a V-belt pulley, that just refers to the shape of the belt and the groove that sits in the pulley. It sort of looks like a trapezoidal kind of shape inside of the pulley. So if we looked at it from the side, it might look something like that. Um, all right, so we have that and we have a shaft that is supported by two pillow block bearings that are shown. That's at O and C here. The pillow block bearings just provide support in the vertical direction, so along the y-axis here, um, y-axis and z-axis. So they prevent translation, but they allow for rotation. And then pulley A is going to receive power from a motor, which causes belt tensions to develop as shown. So this pulley A here, if we were to kind of draw what the belt wrapped around this pulley might look like, it comes down here and it's receiving power from a motor, which is driving this pulley A. And we can see that the tensions on the left side are greater than the tension on the right side. So that already gives me a good idea that the rotation of the motor is going in this direction, right? It's pulling the belt on the left side that we see and the right side has some tension in it, but much less than what's on the left. And then next in our givens list, we know that power is transmitted from pulley A through the shaft to pulley B. So this is basically telling us that shaft A, or pulley A is fixed to the shaft. So the rotation of pulley A is going to cause the rotation of pulley B. And since we already have an idea of the direction of the rotation from these tensions, we know that pulley A is rotating in this direction. Let me kind of clean this up. And we'll say that pulley A is rotating in this direction, right? Which means that pulley B must be rotating in the same direction because they're fixed to the same shaft. Next, we assume that the belt tension on the loose side of pulley B is 15% of the tension on the right side. Well, looking at the direction of the rotation of pulley B, we can already see that T1 is going to be the higher tension, right? Because we're going to be pulling down on that side. And T2 is going to be the lighter tension side. Now, Let's talk about what we've been asked to find here. So first is T1 and T2. Those are the tensions in the belt on pulley B. And we need to find them assuming that the shaft is running at a constant speed. So what does that tell us that the shaft is running at a constant speed? Um, think back all the way to Newton's second law and we'll go with the moment form of Newton's second law, we know that the sum of the moments is equal to the moment of inertia times angular acceleration. Well, if we're running at a constant rotational speed, that means that our angular acceleration is equal to zero, right? So now we know that the sum of moments acting on this shaft um, is going to be equal to zero and we're going to do our sum of moments about the x-axis right because that is the axis that the torques from the pulleys are going to be acting on or the tension in the belt is going to be acting on so if i sum the moments about the x-axis i have the higher tension side of pulley a that is 1800 newtons. And using my right hand rule, 
I can see that that is going to be acting in a positive direction along the positive x-axis. And we're also given that the diameter of pulley A is 400 millimeters. So the distance that the 1800 newtons is acting from the x-axis is going to be half of that. It's going to be 200 millimeters. Now we have another tension that's causing a moment to act on pulley A, and that's our light side tension. It's causing a moment acting in the opposite direction of the higher side tension. So that's minus 270 newtons, and then again, that is acting at a distance of 200 millimeters from the center. Now let's give the same treatment to pulley B. So T1 is going to be causing the same kind of rotation as this lighter side tension um, on pulley A. So that's going to be minus T1 times the distance from where the belt is applying the tension to the center of the shaft. So that's going to be half of 250 millimeters. So 125 millimeters. And finally, we have T2, which is causing a positive moment, and again, acting 125 millimeters from the center. Okay, so this is our first equation. And if I do some quick calculations here, I can work out that 1800 I'm going to do times 0 0.2, so I'm converting millimeters to meters. Minus 270 times 0 0.2 is going to give me 306 newton meters. Minus, or let's do plus 125, or I'll do 0.125 meters times T2 minus T1. Okay, so I'm just rearranging this equation a little bit. And I can simplify this a little bit more to see that T2 minus T1 is going to be equal to negative 306 divided by 0.125. So negative 2448. Okay. So in another way, we could write this as T1 minus T2 is 2,448, and that's newtons, right? So if we hadn't worked out already using kind of our common sense logic of which side of this belt is going to have higher tension, this equation would give it, give it to us anyway, right? We can see that T1 is going to be greater than T2 because T1 minus T2 is a positive number. So again, going up to our drawing and looking at the direction of rotation, that, that makes sense, that T1 would be bigger than T2. Okay, and then the other piece of this that we have to use to solve for these two variables is this assumption that the belt tension on the loose side of pulley B is 15% of the tension on the tight side. So that tells us that T1 is, or I should say um, T2 is 15% of T1, so that's 0.1 times T1. So now let's plug this in, combine these two equations. We get that T1 minus 0.15 T1 is 2,448 newtons. And so T1 is going to be equal to 2,448 divided by 0.85. So T1 is 2,880 newtons. And then plugging that in to the equation for T2. So 2,880 times 0.15 gives me 432 newtons. Okay, so here 
That's our answer for part A.